Hello there, I'm Dennis Gunderson with Grace and Truth Books. Marty Mikowski, who is so well known for his family of worship books like the Gospel Story Bible, Long Story Short, and others, has written a new illustrated children's book, probably for children uh, 12 and under, named Don't Blame the Mud, Jesus Makes You Clean. Let's take a look inside. All right, so we're going to be looking into Marty Mikowski's new book, Don't Blame the Mud, Only Jesus Makes You Clean. It's all about a young boy named Max. Here's Max, who was told by his mom that when he's walking home from school to stay on the clean path, which is up here somewhere. Uh, but Max, uh, like a typical boy, he might say, chooses the uh, dirty, muddy one because, you know, it, it looked more fun. And it's, uh, it's not hard to see the analogy to life there, is it? Max was quite sure that he could get by doing this and that he would be unaffected by the dirt and the mud on the path that he chose, and, and for a while he did get by. Uh, but eventually the inevitable happens, you know, first he's playing on, on logs, he's chasing critters and all of this, so he's having a good time. But the inevitable happens as he plays around near the mud puddles and soon he gets himself and his clothes really dirty. You see some of the first signs of dirt there. The, his mother's already looking for him. Where are you? Uh, I thought you'd be up here on this path. Uh, the heart of the story comes into play when Max heads home and he is not ready to admit that this being dirty is his own fault. He tries to blame the mud, uh, which uh, the mud, you notice, has a hilarious role in the story, by the way. He ends up having quite a personality with some great expressions. And uh, Max proceeds into an effort to hide the fact that the guilt of this act is all his. Max blames the mud. And as long as Max blames the mud, the mud won't leave him alone. It's just ever-present. In other words, not just Max's sin, but his guilt is with him to stay until Max admits what is obvious to everyone else. That is that you got dirty because you chose to enjoy the muddy path. And, uh, and only once he comes to accept responsibility for this is he ready to embrace and understand the message about Jesus that his parents are explaining to him. They begin to tell him more about the gospel of Christ. And the gospel message of the blood of Christ, which cleanses Max from the guilt of sin and brings him forgiveness, comes into play in the story. And the story ends on that good note. And you'll notice uh, as that proceeds, the mud starts to fade into the background bit by bit. And pretty soon is gone. Uh, and this illustrates for kids that beautiful truth of God separating us from our sins, from the guilt of our sins, so that they aren't ours to bear anymore. Here the mud's just, just about out of the picture now. And it's a beautifully told story and just as beautifully illustrated, showing us the gospel uh, and how we are forgiven of our sins. So we highly recommend it, as we do really every Marty Mikowski book. So, But this is a uh, exceptionally well-done book with illustrations by Marty. Every Christian parent wants his children to accept responsibility for their own sins and actions and to learn about the grace that's found in Christ. The book concludes with a section about helping your children understand sin, helping your children understand the gospel. It has some recommended uh, key memory verses at the end. So uh, this story just exhibits that whole point winsomely and wonderfully. And uh, so we recommend get a copy of Don't Blame the Mud for your family online at graceandtruthbooks.com. And, and uh, thanks for watching, and please look for more of my book reviews.